I have a 2D high-speed toolpath that I'm happy with its performance. I now want to add it to these two parts. The reason I only put it on one part initially is with any toolpath it can take a while to process. So if I do it on one, the system will be quicker and when I'm happy I can copy it to the other location. So I'm going to copy my 2D high-speed toolpath by right-clicking on it in the toolpath manager window, dragging it down to just below the red insert arrow, releasing my mouse button, and telling it to copy afterwards. What I want to do now though is select new geometry. So for the new toolpath, I'm going to click on the geometry button. In the chaining manager, I'm going to right click, and if I wanted to, I could add more chains. I can reverse chains. There's a lot of options here. I can change its start point. So just to show you that, I can back up the start point, move it around the part, cancel that. Because in this case, what I want to do is chain new geometry. I want to chain the geometry for this part. So I'm going to right click again. I'm going to tell it I want to rechain all. Back in the chaining manager window, I'll do construction plane chaining and partial chaining. And I'll now chain this part. The arrows are going the wrong way. I'll reverse them. I want to rotate and zoom around until I can see the end. I'll accept that. I'll go back to the isometric view. I'll accept my new chain. Tell it to regenerate the toolpath. And now I have it here. Once again, I can copy it and chain this toolpath over here and then save my work.